see if you just look at it blurry, it looks fine. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, and welcome back to For Real Friday, the series we do here on my channel where every Friday we sit down, we have a chat about something real that is going on in any of our lives. So leave a comment below or always tweet me or find me on my Facebook page if you have an idea of something to talk about for a future For Real Friday. Basically every Friday I tweet out or post on Facebook or put somewhere asking for topics. So if I like any of them, well not if I like them, but if they're like good things to talk about then we'll do it. Also, um, we're sitting down again. The last couple of weeks I think I've been either walking around in the middle of the street last week if you missed that one. The week before I don't remember what I was doing, but now we're sitting again in the normal spot next to this cactus that I am going to jinx this by saying it, and I can't edit that out, because that's the other point of these videos. We have real chats, and we don't edit things out. It's a great time. Uh, I'm going to jinx this, though. I have not stabbed myself on this cactus in these videos yet, although many of you have commented that I sit very close to it. Also sitting too close to the candle when I shoot in the other part of my apartment. Um, that's been something people have commented about. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're going to talk about something that is kind of really stupid but also very frustrating. <laughs> I broke my phone the other day and let me, let me give you a little backstory. So I've had the same phone for a couple of years. It has stayed fairly intact because I always keep my phone. I know not to trust myself enough with a phone out of its case. My brother, on the other hand, and a lot of people in this world, have their phones out without a case, or they take it out for a couple days and it's fine. I never have my phone out of a case unless I'm like running or something, and so I don't want the bulk of the case. But then it's like in a little pouch, so it's not, I'm not openly carrying it around. I never openly carry my phone around, or iPad or anything, because I know it will break. I, I just am not trustworthy. This is why we can't have nice things. You saw my vlog last week of basically setting my apartment on fire. Um, so, I got a new phone. I'll put new in quotations though because I had the same phone for like two years, I think, and it worked fine until recently it stopped making calls. I would try calling people and it would just be silent. Like, it wouldn't ring, but then apparently, according, because I'd asked the other people, how come my phone wasn't calling you? And they said, oh, you called me like 12 times and I kept picking up and you weren't there. So it would call them, but on my end, it would say it wasn't calling and there was no one there and it wasn't ringing or anything. So my dad just got a new phone and therefore he gave me his other phone, or his old phone. And it was still a newer version of my phone, so I was excited about it, and I got it, and this was the case that my dad had it in, because my dad is trustworthy with technology. Fairly, like, simple case, it's nice, it comes from the manufacturer, whatever, the phone company, so works well with the phone, whatever, but it's very thin. It, like, protects your phone, does the, the minimum job it needs to, but I usually require more uh, protection than that on my... <laughs> electronic devices. So I went on the internet and I ordered another phone case like the one I had on my old phone. But I did switch to this phone so that I could, you know, make calls because that's what phones are for. And I was like, I'll be good in this case. It's fine. It's fine. Well, of course, as I always do, I drop my phone, it falls on the floor, whatever, but like it was inside and it, it didn't break. It didn't do anything. This, by the way, this crack that was in this case was already in there when my dad had it. So that was not me, I think. I think, Dad, if you're watching, you can prove me wrong if, <laughs> if that's, if I am wrong. So I got this case. Or, well, I'll get there in a minute. So I ordered a case on Amazon that's, like, much more protective. I've never gone the whole, like, OtterBox super protective route, but I do, like, functional cases that I like and that can hold all my stuff. So I order it. It's going to come in the mail in two days. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. So the day before it comes, I'm walking out of work, and I was carrying too many things as usual. I was carrying my backpack, I had a purse. I had my work phone, my personal phone, and my phones both were sitting on top of my bowl that I had eaten my lunch in. So I'm like balancing it and I think I'm fine. And then I move my purse to try to unlock the gate to get uh, into the parking lot at work because you have to, it's like a secure entry thing. You have to be able to, you have to work there to be able to get in. So I try to move that, move it to get my key card up there, and phone falls on the floor. Work phone stayed on top of my lunch bowl personal phone just flying onto the floor. I'm like, it's fine. I drop it, whatever. But what had happened is this case that's not very protective, like I said, foreshadowing much, had opened up and therefore the actual phone, which was here, face down on the ground and it's like hard pavement that's like kind of, uh, you know, has some texture to it. So that just... It broke my phone, moral of the story. So this is what my phone looks like, which now, again, that was the day before 
my case actually came in the mail. I was like, if I can just make it one more day, I will be successful, my phone will be fine, it will be great. So here's what the phone looks like right now. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, hopefully. Hopefully the camera will focus. Oh yeah, see if you just look at it blurry, it looks fine. So here, um, in this corner, just shattered, shattered. And then if you can tell, I don't know if you can, just little, you can tell I need to paint my nails again. Uh, you can, just a little crack going all the way up this way, another crack going all the way that way, another crack going all the way that way. I'm probably getting little pieces of glass on my finger as I'm showing this to you. Anyway, I was so mad. <laughs> So mad! I just had to make it one more day, and my phone would have been in this protective case, and it would have been fine. Now I can, like, th could throw it out the window. No, okay, I won't do that. It's not that protected. Anyway, the phone still functions, and it works, and it really is dumb that I'm so mad about it. But just, you know, when you have nice things, and you get, like, a new toy, and you're excited about it, you're like, yes, I got my new phone, I'm gonna get a new case, gonna look all cute, and I'm gonna be an adult and protect it. And then, you don't. You don't. You fail yourself, you fail your father who gave you this phone, and then you fail your fingers that are probably getting, oh yeah, I see one! I see like a tiny little piece of glass. Can you focus on my finger? No, maybe, maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe so. Isn't this fun content, guys? I'm trying to show you a close-up of the tiny little piece of glass. It's like this big millimeter tiny piece of glass that came off onto my finger from my phone. So that's what I have to look forward to. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure, unless you guys are very, very, very unusually responsible people, um, I, or aliens, whoever's watching this, I want to know your stories of breaking things. I made a video, I think a, probably a couple years ago at this point, when I broke my iPad, and uh, I was very mad about that and I talked about the frustrations of breaking technology. It's so frustrating but then you think about it and you're like, look, I've got a phone that, that calls people. Little glass pieces are fine. It, um, it plays music. I've got some music playing on there right now, or I was. I paused it obviously when I started this video. You know, the things work. I can watch videos on there. It's fine. <laughs> it does what it needs to do. But it's broken and I'm mad at myself. <laughs> I've failed myself. Anyways, um, so yeah, let me know the last time you broke something in the comments below. This is why we can't have nice things. That's what, that's what everyone tells me. That's what I tell myself. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Friday. If you're watching this on Friday, a great weekend, a great long weekend. If you have Monday off, I'll be working. Um, and I'll be working on the vlog for Sunday. There's aliens in it, speaking of aliens. So give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. Subscribe to my channel. Also, if you feel like it, just do both of those things because you're a nice person and you're probably a very responsible adult or human, child, whatever you are. Um, okay, see you on Sunday for a weekly vlog. Bye!